All right, we got James Coleman on the line from uh, fifth quarter quarterback. Uh, fifth, I do that all the time. Fifth quarter college football. James Coleman uh, joining us to talk uh, college football in Florida State in particular. Uh, today, day three of this Knowles on the practice field for spring practice with a scrimmage scheduled on Saturday. So again, James, I lean on you for a different perspective. Going into your first scrimmage, what is important to the coaches to see and for guys that are vying for positions, what do they need to prove? Um, well, one, everybody on the offense has a clean slate for the most part because you've got a brand new offense coordinator. You got a uh, who's in control of pretty much the offense. So your quarterback room, even though there is no open competition, it is James Black needs to lose. Partially because there really is nobody else. I mean, we so people people say we only have one quarterback. Again, that's not one hundred percent true at all. Jordan Travis is probably going, is more than likely, from what I understand, is going to get his waiver. He gets to practice in the spring no matter what. And Cam and you know, not Cam McDonald, Nolan McDonald was a three star quarterback that was at Air Force that decided to transfer and be with his brother Cam McDonald, who was a highly regarded tight end prospect in the 2018 class so he's not your traditional walk-on most walk-ons had no offers they just came out and even then we've seen a walk-on win a Heisman Trophy um in in recent history so we can't just say oh he's a walk-on just disregard it um so the quarterback seg is there and then obviously with Horny Horny Brook um there's going to be obviously maybe more depth and more competition there but what you have is um you have a new wide receiver coach a new offensive line coach so you've got a tremendous amount of young talent um, returning that has not seen the field as well as guys who have seen the field. You've got So there's the new energy with um, trying to be one of the four wide receivers that will constantly be on the field. Uh, you have offensive line where there's a lot of new faces um, and a lot of guys who have been hurt who are trying to regain the favor of a brand-new coach who knows very little about all of them, and Coach Clements. And Coach Clements um, is a – He's definitely a um, a really good coach. He is a, a character from what I have seen. He is interesting, and I think he is that shit crazy in the way he talks. And I, I, I think that's good. We, you you don't want I don't want a sane offensive line coach. There used to be a, a a joke that people said you can walk on the football field and immediately tell who the offensive line coach is. It's typically the guy who's yelling and cursing. Now it's not necessarily what Clemens does. Clemens just has command presence. So when you look at him, he doesn't look like – he looks like CTE is flourishing <laughs> in his body. And I don't want to be the guy that he just spazzes out on and probably choke slams. So I'm going to do what the man asked me to do. But I like that. Um, defensively, we've got some moving around pieces. you got Odell Higgins is coaching the entire D-line. And so if you want to be – if you want to play, you got to stand out. Is if, if he has to coach you – if you do what he tells you to do the first time, you have a better a better opportunity of seeing the field. Linebacker, tons of new energy, almost a completely new seg. And then the DBs where we've done very good recruiting the last four years. Lots of talent there. Lots of guys who are out here competing, and, um, and, and, and you need to see the energy change. And the energy has been very upbeat um, at, from what I've seen and what it could, have, what it could be. It could have been bad. Um, when you look at how the season ended and there was some addition by subtraction, there were some guys that I believe needed to leave, needed to be cut out before the season started tag didn't do it. And, but those guys kind of found themselves out of the program and it doesn't mean they're bad guys. It just means they did not fit the culture moving forward. And the culture has a lot to do, not just with the players buying in, but it has to do with the coaches setting a standard and, and coaching to that standard and forcing everybody under them to live up to that standard. And right now you saw guys guys doing that. And you also saw guys having fun. I think people make – it's cool to make jokes about dancing. It's cool to make jokes about music. But this is still – at this level, it's still a game. It's These guys are not pros. They're not, they're not getting a check. They need to have fun. And when you're having fun, well, I always say winning is fun. But when you're not winning and you want guys to get into winning ways, you have to do something that continues to get them buy into this culture that you're trying to that you're selling. 